Okay, and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. Um, today is another collaboration by the Glitter Girls YouTube collaboration. The Glitter Girls YouTube collab group. This theme is Glitter Bees or Glitter with Bees. But I call it Glitter Bees. Um, basically it's bees and it's got glitter in it and all sorts of pigments and stuff like that. So... Or it's bees with glitter, whichever way, but it's definitely bees and some glitter is involved as well. So I've prepped this nail um, off camera because I was thinking of prepping them all, but I wanted to show you how I use the ombre pigment to create that yellow on the nail because I'm going to do this full nail here in the same yellow. I've got some glue gel as my base here. I've got a sponge. And I've mixed the yellow She Modern Ombre Powder with a no wipe top coat. And it's on a canvas like this. So it's just on a canvas like that. I've got a sponge, a clean sponge. I'm going to soak up as much of the polish as possible. And then I'm going to pick up this tip here. And I'm just going to cover this whole nail yellow using this sponge and the ombre powder attaches really well to the glue gel gives a really smooth um, finish okay, okay so I'm just going to go and cure that I'm just going to give it like 10 seconds or something like that 15 seconds soak up a bit more polish and then we'll be done with the ombre powder because after that we're just going to use pigments and I think I'm going to get out an old stencil by She I need to find it with stripes on it. And we're going to do the stripes in this neon yellow and black with a little white bobble at the back. So it's going to simulate a bee's body. Okay. So I'm just going to pop another layer on top. And you can you can do this, you can ombre this, but I just wanted to do this as a full nail. Okay, right. so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Well, I might keep the canvas there, but I'm going to move it out of the way. Then the next nail is going to be like this colour, yellow. I'm trying to play with different yellows and different textures and colours. I'm just going to pop some on there. I also have a yellow splash on here somewhere. No, I haven't. I'm just going to get a clean one. Just like a really orangey yellow kind of pigment. And then I may do like a black ombre on top. I'm just going to burnish that in. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to go and find that stencil because the next nail is going to be the stripy nail. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I'm back. So this was the old Chi Modern style stencil. If you've got it, it's just the one with the lines and everything like that on it. So this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to pop some black on there. So that's the black pearl. And then this is the bright um, neon yellow ok 
So the yellow is going to go on the lines itself and then we're going to fill in with black. this bottom bit with white so that it doesn't get filled in with black okay so we've got that and then now we're just going to get the black to where like I say I've never done this before maybe glitter might have been better for this if it doesn't work then I'm going to come back and do it with glitter enough for me I think I think that's fine so it's given us a bit like a bees kind of body because you've got like the white fluffy tail so I'm happy with that and what is the next nail going to be <laughs> um, I'm not really decided that far yet Last one will be glitter. Definitely. Has to be some glitter, doesn't it, after all? Because it's glitter bees. So, I think I'm going to mix up a mix in here using some glitters. So, we're going to mix in some orange hollow. Some gold iridescent sparkling. I want it to be like a honeycomb kind of colour. And we've got some gold champagne. So I'm mixing in some different shades of gold. Right for this mix. And then we've got some gold hollow. And then some of these gold pearl essence lake type things Mix all this up. 
because we're also going to need the glitter on this one as well and then we're going to do some stamping on top okay so where's my brush so I've got this glitter brush here so I'm just going to move out of the way everything we don't want near me So we might need a couple of layers of this. So I'm just burnishing it all in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put another layer of that on off camera. Come back when we're ready to stamp or do the next part. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, right, so I'm back. So I've got most things prepared and now I've got some black um, sheer um, ombre powder on this brush here. And I've got some glue gel on here and I'm just going to ombre this on the I think I'm happier with that. So I'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds. This one's ready. It's got some matte top coat on it. We've got that. We've got that. Right. So I'm going to get my stamping stuff ready now. Um, clean this area up and we're going to start stamping and putting this design together. So I'll be back in a mo. Okay. Right. So we're back. So we're going to be working on this nail. This was the nail that had the um, yellow ombre on it, but I've covered it with the same glitter that I mixed for the big um, honeycomb that I'm going to do at the end. So we're going to put like a honeycomb stamp pattern just on this bit here. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to be using this Animal World Plate by Nicole Diary, ND004. I'll pop a picture up of it on the screen and we're going to use a black stamping polish by Beauty Big Bang and then I've got this Born Pretty stamper if you really want to know who it's from Okay with that um, and then the next stage we're going to do is we're going to make some bees so 
The next one we're going to do is make some bees. So we're going to use the bees off this plate. And then we're going to colour them in. So I'll do one on camera and then I'll come back um, with the other one. I'm happy with that and then I'm just going to colour in his eye up here some white and I'm just going to let that dry and then I just need to nip downstairs so I'll be back in a moment okay right, we're back so I've had these coloured in they're dry I've got some glue gel on here so that these will stick properly and I'm going to stick one here like that I really like doing these like layered designs then I'm gonna stick one just there and the glue jar really helps them stick properly so now we're gonna stick another honeycomb stamp pattern onto this one the rest gets quite simple ish um, if you've watched me by now you know that I don't really do Just add some dots right, for the bees flying. So I'm just going to pop a bit of stamping polish onto here. Last ones are going to be sheer modern foils so let me just clean this up come back and then stick the water on the foils and then we'll do that and then it'll be finished so I'll be back in a minute okay right so we're back now so I'm gonna add some letters and we're gonna like layer these letters so the first color we're gonna put down is black And then on top it's going to be hollow.
this might add like another one on there and then maybe like something up here so we'll have a think about that and then on this nail off camera I'm just going to add some more bees exactly like these but on this one but I'll do that off camera because you know again you don't need to see unnecessary things so I'm going to add a layer of grip gel onto the ones with the letters on and then we're going to add the hollow letters on so I'm going to just do that off camera and come back so we're back so now we're just going to add on the hollow letters on top of these It's kind of going to go on in like a slight off angle like that. So we've got that one done as well. I've added a few more flowers in here. I'm probably going to add one more flower into there. And I'm probably going to add like a little red heart down here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut it off off camera. It's just going to be this little heart here. Add it on off camera. Come back. Um basically with the design finished. I'm just going to add some more bees exactly like what I did there to this nail here and maybe another one of these cute little bees down here. So I'm going to do that, come back with the design finished. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is the finished design on some tips. So we'll just take a look at them. So this is the one where we says we wrote buzz on it with some bees. This was the floral nail where I just mixed up some floral decals on a bee coloured background. This one says bees and it's got a heart on it because we should all love and appreciate what our bees do for us. This collab was really put together to highlight the bee shortage in the world, like how sad it is that you know, in my back garden, I hardly see any bees in the UK. And yet, in previous years, I had so many. I loved to see them. And that's the thing, you know. So that is them on there. I will stick a photograph up of them as well. Well, outdoors. So that is it. Um... If I've got the picture by now of everybody's, I'll stick it on. If not, the playlist, as always, for the Glitter Girls YouTube collab will be in the description box and I'll post it in the top right. Please go and support all the people in this. Go and watch the video, like it, comment and subscribe if you're not already because they're all awesome and they work so hard on their videos and putting these designs together to share with everybody and... They're all really, 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 really lovely people and I just love being around them and they're great friends. So, yeah, if you're not supporting them all, please go and do it. I would appreciate it so much. Um, so, yeah, so that is it. So, did you have a favourite nail? Like, as always, hashtag one, two, three, four, five. I really like this one and this one. But I love them all. I think they all 
go together this looks really complicated to do but actually it's not it's just a bit of stamping and coloring in the bees and using a stencil to create that I just put a bit of glitter and a few dots on there and yeah I just layered up some stamping and put some foils on anybody could do something like this it has taken me a while to do um, but I wanted it to be special and a bit out there so I hope you've enjoyed the video I know my videos are long but I do like to do like a watch what I'm doing style and work with me kind of vibe that's just how I like to do my videos so I hope you've watched it all I hope you've stayed to the end please subscribe if you're not already um, if you want to if you don't it's fine <laughs> as well um, I'm going to shut up now because I'm going on the picture should have come up by now um, and that is it so thanks for watching everybody and don't forget just put a few flowers out for the bees try and show some support don't use pesticides in your garden there's no need for it there's no need nature will deal with any pests or whatever you don't need to poison the nature with pesticides um, and that is it so thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.